Hey guys, what's happening? So, I thought I'd make a video about uh, this Xbox controller mount here, but um, this is for all the CNC guys that uh, follow me, and then also my uh, Thingiverse page. Um, actually, I love these these Xbox controllers. Um, so, I've been in a CNC for a few years, and um, you know, I had been looking at different MPGs and different things to control the access, but I mean, I haven't found anything better than these Xbox controllers. I mean, I can get into position so fast with these things that they're they're awesome. And you can get like the I'll put a link down below, but you can get like the uh, the fake ones new on Amazon for like thirteen bucks. Um, but this is a pull mount, and uh, so it's a for a forty mount, forty millimeter pull. And then I can uh, if you have a different size pull, I can adjust that. I can upload a new one. It'll only take me a couple seconds. Um, but all M three screw hardware. And, uh, but I'm actually, after, after this part, after this video, I'm going to go out to the garage and I'll show you it in operation on my CNC machines. But, um, yeah, so this will be on my Thingiverse page. So if you guys have a 3D printer, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. It just slips right in there. There's a wire management right there. Two, two M3 screws to hold it in there. You don't, in there. You don't really need a lot of support because it's not very heavy. So, but all right, let me go out and show it to you. All right, so here is the Xbox mount um, mounted there, and I'll show you the axle. I actually love these things, man. They're uh, so much easier than the MPGs. Uh, you, you can get the position so much faster. Um, so this one actually was my first version. I only have the screws on one side, so, and the next version will actually have holes so I can mount it either side. Um, yeah, because I, I figured that out when I started mounting some other machines at all. Uh, I was having issues with that, but watch this real fast. Hope you can see my hand. I mean, I could actually jog a lot faster than this. I have up and back, X, Y. Um, then I have Z up and down. And then this is the A axis or fourth axis. Um, you can do actually like diagonal. I'll, I'll go to each of my machines and I'll show you the difference. Like with this machine, I'm actually moving the head around. So it's actually, it's funny, it's easier for me to figure out this way because I can see the head moving around. So right means right, that means left, because I'm moving the head around, right? Whereas in my other mail, I'll show that to you, it's, it's kind of like an optical illusion almost. Um, and this is actually increment down. And you can actually set all this too in, in the plugins. And the, uh, um, yeah, so you can actually do like, we can actually program each button. One thing you can't do though is program this button here, or this front button here, at least with this, this plugin. Let me go to the mall um, over here. Same thing. Actually, this one I actually have one of those uh, MPGs on. But the same thing. The thing is, it's different because you're not, the bed is moving around, not the head. So it looks like you'd be going the opposite way. So if I go right, left, right, it's bringing the bed this way, right? It brings the bed the opposite direction because you're moving the the head. You get the picture, you're moving the head, head the other way. So it's kind of an optical illusion. Like you think when you hit left, the bed would go left, but it's actually the opposite. Um, and that's actually correct. Same thing, X, Y, Z, increment. I am exactly the same, so I, 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 could, I can get used to it. Oh yeah, then I have A axis. So this eventually will be a five axis machine to play around with. So that's my A axis. That'll be my indexer. Um, uh, yeah, it's a lot faster than this thing here. Um, I, I can get a position way faster. Diagonal, I can, you know. I'm doing like this. So, yeah, pretty cool. So the mount, same thing. You know, just mounts in the back, 40 millimeter tube. If you guys want a different size uh, tube, just let me know and I'll, I can just redo it for a different tube size. Um, the cords are brand new. By the way, these are actually, these are the bootleg. Um, these are the bootleg Xbox controllers. Um, and they actually do work. So, um, so you, I, well, here are my increments. See? So I can control all that right here, up and down. And then I can control my increment mode here, continuous, and then that would be cycle start. Pretty basic. So let me go over to the lathe 
So the light is not on, but the same thing. So this is a, it's actually, it's a, I bought this on Craigslist for 10 bucks, but that's actually a real factory, I think, Xbox controller, yeah. But the problem with this one is it has a really long cord, so I'm going to have to figure out how to deal with that. Um, I actually got my, put my mount, like I said, my first version didn't have the poles go way through, they were just on the left-hand side. Then I realized I, sh I should probably have them on both sides so I can do that. And so it's the same thing. It's a little bit different, you know, because you have Z-axis here and X-axis here. So, all right, yeah, link down below on my uh, Thingiverse page if you want it. Yeah, I just like it so much better than the MPG, man. It's, uh, I can get in a position so much faster and I can just get my head on, up on it with my thing. And what sucks about the MPG is I have to like hit the access, change the access button, switch, access switch, switch. Yeah, way faster. All right, guys. All right, have fun. Cool.